Hey guys, how you doing? Today I wanted to show you my turtle scoop farm design. As you can see, it uses beds to separate the baby turtles from the adult turtles uh, by taking advantage of their AI. Uh, I can show you a quick example of this. So, when a baby turtle hatches, its AI tries to find a water source to travel to but only if it's pathfinding can see it. So this turtle currently can't see the water because the trapdoors are down and it'll just stand there and do, do nothing until it grows into an adult. But as soon as I open the trapdoors, it'll detect the water and go straight to it. So then I wanted to take advantage of that behavior to automatically separate the baby turtles from the adults. So I wanted to design a barrier that would keep the adult turtles one side while the baby turtles could pass through and then grow on the other side for easy collection. Started off with the glass panes for the cobblestone wall and even though baby turtles can actually fit through there, uh, their pathfinding would never to take the water the other side so they would just stand in the spot as you saw in that example over there uh, it's the same with upside down stairs baby turtles can actually fit through that gap but they'll never attempt to because the pathfinding doesn't find a route for them so then i tried different non-fall blocks um, the cakes and the slabs were no good at all they let the adult turtles escape uh, the only one that really worked was the enchantment table, but I think that's quite expensive, really. But then I remembered that I used beds in my rabbit farm to separate the baby rabbits. Uh, so I thought I'd give that a try. And it worked really well. Okay, so let's build this farm. Everything you need should be in the hot bar. Just need some building blocks, sand, trapdoors, stairs, and the beds, of course as well as chests, hoppers and water for the collection areas. In my survival world this farm is chunk aligned, so it's 16 by 16 and you start off with the perimeter wall. So you count out 7 blocks, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and then place 2 upside down stairs, 1, 2 and then you can go ahead break the blocks below them and place your double chest and then you place seven more blocks one two three four five six seven and then you just repeat the process for the remaining three sides Once that is done you should have a, a ring that looks like this. The next step is to create the breeding area. So you take your sand and from a corner you count out one, two, three, four and place your sand. Next we want to expand this out to eight in both directions. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we just join those up and fill in the center. Next you want to take your beds and place them in a ring all the way around the outside edge of the sand. From there you take your building blocks and come out from the corner and 
count up three. One, two, three. And you repeat this for all four corners. One, two, three. And then you join up all the tops. Then take your trap doors and place them on the underside of the box you've just placed. And what you should see is that there's a very small gap between the bed and the trap door. And this means only the baby turtles can escape. And this block is too high to jump over, which will help keep the adult turtles contained. So next we'll create the containment area for the baby turtles. So you place upside down stairs along the edge of the sand. And then you fill in the corners with four building blocks. And then next to this stack of blocks you place another solid block and then in that space you place a, a normal stair and you do the same for the other side so next to those put a full block and then the stair next to it and then you can dig a trench out between the two stairs and you should reveal the chest you placed earlier and you just place hoppers into that chest and then all we need to do is waterlog all of the stairs that we've just placed You should see that they sort of flow into the center. So if you repeat that for the other three sides and then the farm will be complete. So with all four sides complete you should have something that looks like this. Before we put the turtles in there I'd just like to do the one final step which is to put the light sources in. So on each corner you're counting one and then place a, a light source. Like so. And then for the top, you basically come in line with a double chest. And fill those in with the light sources. that done we can actually get the turtles in there now so you can either lure them in with seagrass or you can silk touch some eggs that you, you find out in the wild uh, but if you do that make sure to either close down all these trap doors or feed the baby turtles as soon as they hatch otherwise they will escape but I'm in creative so I can just place a couple down like that to use the farm you just walk up to the perimeter wall uh, with your seagrass. The turtles will detect you and walk over and you just feed them up. Uh, you don't need to worry about the bed, it's actually too far away to sleep in. So once you feed the turtles they'll just pick a spot in the sand and lay some eggs. So uh, now you just have to wait for them to hatch. Uh, I think I've got a, yes, I've left an egg here that's ready to hatch. So I'll turn the daylight cycle back on and come back to you when they've hatched. Okay, so it's night time now. 
In case you're wondering why I'm waiting for the eggs to hatch and not just spawning babies in, I don't think you actually can in Bedrock Edition. As far as I know in Java, you click the spawn egg on an adult to create a, a baby, but nothing seems to happen. They can spawn in randomly as you place them down, but there you go. It's very difficult to actually get them to spawn in with the egg. So I'll just sit around and wait for this one to hatch. And there you go, they've just hatched. And you see they travel towards the water. And as they drop in, they'll be forced towards the center. And that's pretty much where they'll stay until they've grown into adults. So when the baby turtles turn into adults, they'll drop their scoots in the water, which will be carried towards the hoppers and deposited into the chest. And that's everything for this tutorial. Um, before I go, I'd just like to say thank you for the positive response on the first video. Um, I was quite nervous and the audio quality wasn't that great, but I've had nothing but positive responses, so a big, big thank you for that. Um, so having said that, if you like this video, please do give me a like. And if you want to see more, please do subscribe, because it will really help me out. Uh, thanks for watching. Goodbye.